and welcome. You're watching Health and Wellness Save a Life. Every life is uh, indeed invaluable and precious. The problem of a sudden cardiac death is a major concern all over the world, affecting people of different age groups. When it comes to India, the problem has escalated due to the sudden change in lifestyle and food choices that are available. When medical emergencies like cardiac arrest happen around a person, it is important to be prepared. If you're aware and informed, then you can take steps to revive a person and therefore save a life. Worldwide, millions of people die of sudden cardiac arrest every year. This is partly due to limited and sometimes ineffective bystander cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR as it's popularly known. Many adults in cardiac arrest can be revived with intact neurological function if the bystander can provide immediate CPR. Raising public awareness, therefore, and an understanding of practical implementations of CPR is an essential strategy to increase CPR success in cardiac arrest cases. It is even more important to learn about CPR if you have a loved one who has a history of cardiac disease, as research reports that a majority of cardiac arrests occur at home. Save a Life is an initiative through which people can be made aware of the early signs and symptoms of cardiac arrest so that patients can get to the hospital in time and be trained on giving CPR if the need arises. Today we have with us seminant cardiologists who can help you understand sudden cardiac death and the role of CPR uh, to revive and save a life. We have with us Dr. Professor uh, uh, KMK Reddy, Senior uh, Interventional Cardiologist, uh, Senior Consultant, Apollo Hospital, Ramya Heart Center, Hyderabad. We also have Dr. Sandeep Kadam, Dr. Kadam Heart Clinic and Diagnostic Center, Pune. Uh, Dr. Manbir Singh Khurana, Senior Interventional Cardiologist, Ludhiana Mediways Hospital. Uh, thank you very much, doctors, for being with us. Dr. Reddy, to you first, what does the term heart failure actually mean? Uh, and you know, does it does it mean that the heart is essentially stopped working? Can can heart failure cause sudden cardiac arrest? Yeah, heart failure basically is uh, weakening of the heart. It is not uh, not necessary to be a, a complete uh, stoppage of the heart, but it is basically a weakening of the heart, which is not able to cope up the demands of the uh, body. So when the heart is pumping at a a lower capacity, uh, lower than the expected or the lower than the demand, then uh, we call it as a failing heart. Failing heart is a tired heart which is not able to cope up the demands on a regular basis. Uh, Dr. Kadam, people around the age group of 30 to 40 years of age also suffer heart attacks and have severe heart problems. What is the main cause of a steep increase in heart problems among younger people? Actually, India is a hub of uh, diabetes first thing. So diabetes is major risk factor for the heart disease. If you see the all uh, young people in India, typically the age less than 40 people have more chances of heart issues, mainly the heart attack. Uh, again, the chances of getting uh, multiple blockages is very common. Again, the hereditary is also common. Second most common thing is the COVID. After COVID, there is a hypercoagulable state and that leads to the clot formation and uh, uh, heart attack. Third is the sedentary lifestyle because of uh, lockdown and especially in the IT sectors where they are uh, working from home from say morning 8 to uh, till night and uh, sitting on a uh, in front of laptop without any activity so that leads to uh, uh, again a risk factor uh, other factors like smoking high cholesterol which are usual one and uh, sedentary lifestyle so all these together leads to the more and most important is the awareness now there is a uh, early detection of the symptoms and diagnosis which was not uh, 10 or 15 years before. So all this contributes to the major uh, uh, issue with the uh, young people. Right, Dr. Khurana, in that case, can sudden cardiac death in younger people be prevented? And are there any early signs or symptoms which people may pay attention to so that they can take preventive steps? 
Uh, yes, a sudden cardiac death can be prevented uh, by taking various precautions, as uh, our colleague previously said. That one is uh, smoking cessation, which is which can actually prevent uh, cardiac death by many folds. The people who if they quit smoking, then is having a balanced diet that is uh, rich in the protein, fiber, and less of carbs and fats. And then going for a regular checkup uh, is very important uh, because many things are diagnosed after a routine checkup. And uh, the most important thing is if we are planning, if a youngster is planning for a very extreme activity, like he's planning to go for a gym and going to, uh, for a very strenuous sports activity, he should get himself checked before uh, before for his physician that he get his simple basic tests uh, because sometimes these things can be diagnosed by basic tests and uh, if, uh, we have seen that while doing extreme activities like in gym, patients, uh, young patients suffer from uh, cardiac arrest. And if they get them checked up before doing these activities, they can be uh, it can be prevented. And then is uh, if you have any strong family history of sudden cardiac death, like if your younger siblings or somebody who has less age age like uh, has died suddenly while sleeping or we don't know what's the cause of death, if it is there in the family, then definitely screening of all the family relatives, first degree relatives should be done uh, by a cardiologist by getting a simple ECG and echo done and. Uh, uh, because sometimes these diseases are silent and uh, they can be diagnosed by screening uh, uh, only. And if uh, the patient is already a cardiac patient, he has, as uh, Sar said, that he has heart failure and heart is weak. Then in these patients, there is a device called AICD, implantable cardioverter defibrillator. It can be put and uh, it can prevent this uh, sudden cardiac arrest by giving a shock. Uh, so all these factors actually help uh, to prevent the sudden cardiac death. Right. Uh, Dr. Reddy, you know, we all know um, that feeling constantly stressed could increase the risk of heart and circulatory disease. How does acute stress lead to uh, sudden cardiac death? Yeah. See, uh, the stressful life, a chronic stress is definitely a risk factor. It is proven in a good number of uh, large studies also. So, uh, stress basically uh, increases the catecholamine surge and uh, it definitely causes uh, uh, some uh, sympathetic overactivity in the body and which in turn causes uh, many, many uh, cardiovascular changes in the body. Therefore, they are the, the people who have already having a chronic stress or sometimes precipitated by an acute stress they are prone for uh, sudden uh, issues like a heart stroke or a heart attack. So basically, this is happening because uh, the overactivity in the sympathetic system that is uh, causing a heart rate uh, high and the high heart rates are not good for a longer duration. Uh, definitely, it has a negative uh, uh, cardiovascular issues that are likely to happen. Therefore, the uh, the important thing is uh, for a, a country like in India, more so in an younger population that is the youth of the India should be a divide of a stress if possible or a stress management has to be done in a proper scientific uh, platform and everybody, uh, I suggest, the, the stress management or avoiding a stress is the important thing because it is catastrophic to the heart. Right. Uh, Dr. Kadam, what's the first thing you should do when you see someone go into cardiac arrest? Uh, first thing you need to call for the help. Start uh, CPR. Uh, the chest compression, it should be at the rate of 100 uh, per minute and it should be two and a half inches, what we call as a high quality CPR. And you should give a breath after every 30 compressions. And uh, most important uh, is allow the recoil of the chest. So you should uh, take a, a proper high quality uh, CPR training. Uh, and that, uh, that should be continued till the uh, other teams or medical help uh, receive. The most important thing, this CPR training should be done uh, from the school level. I think uh, we should uh, include it uh, from standard eight or standard nine, which is a uh, uh, good options to educate the people and that will uh, prevent lots of life and lots of death. 
All right, uh, very important points there. Dr. Khurana, what are some of the important points to remember while performing hands-only uh, CPR? Uh, yes, uh, there are two very important points. First is we should make sure that the scene is safe. Uh, where we are performing the CPR, there is no uh, major risk to the uh, person who is giving the CPR as well as the patient because sometimes there is uh, glass or sometimes it's the place of accident. So sometimes you can cause harm. Uh, so you should bring the person to a safe site. And then is we should see whether actually the patient is breathing. The normal rhythmic breathing should be there. And uh, we should check for the responsiveness of the patient. Sometimes the patient is just lying unconscious. We should tap the shoulders and check whether the, and ask whether you, uh, the patient is responding or not. And after that, we should call for an assistance and then immediately start with the hands-only CPR. For the hands-only CPR, uh, we should uh, kneel beside the person who needs help. We should be kneeling on our uh, and, and our heel of our hand should be kept at the center of the chest. And above uh, that, our another hand should be kept and the fingers should be interlaced. Uh, this point should be kept at the center of the chest and uh, the compression should be started as uh, Dr. Kadam said uh, it should be done properly and we should allow a proper recoil that is two and a half inches deep and around 100 times in a minute. So uh, we should continue it till the help arrives and uh, it's very important to start it as early as possible. Yeah. All right, important points being made there. Uh, We're going to slip into a very short break, but our panel of experts will be live with us on the other side. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching Health and Wellness uh, Save a Life. Well, Dr. Reddy, if I can come to you, it's generally believed that CPR should be performed for every unconscious person. Is that true? And are there any sort of situations when one should not perform CPR? Yeah. See, uh, as our uh, Dr. Uh, Singh has told, uh, basically any unresponsive patient, if he is found to be a breathing, uh, or we can check by just putting the finger under the uh, nose and we can check whether somebody is breathing or not. Somebody is found to be unresponsive, like a collapse in front of our eyes or somebody is just like that as a stranger when we find somebody very unresponsive, we have to start uh, CPR until otherwise somebody is declared or found to be clearly dead. In a sense, there is no breathing uh, for an individual. Uh, probably if somebody has seen him or observed him for a, uh, like more than three minutes, uh, not at all breathing, uh, in that scenario, uh, the doing a CPR is going to be an in vain thing. But if we are suspicious of uh, whether the duration of the cessation of the respiration uh, or the heart, uh, for a benefit of uh, doubt always uh, to the individual, we have to uh, be very, very liberal in giving a CPR because CPR is a life-saving one. There are there are many, many people who can be uh, made as a as survivors by doing an effective, timely, appropriate CPR. Therefore, uh, by uh, not doing a CPR, probably by uh, without having a proper knowledge, uh, it is sometimes uh, dangerous. Probably the candidate may be a deserving candidate would have survived him. So therefore, uh, I always I strongly believe that uh, a CPR, there should not be any hesitation to do a CPR. But if somebody is already dead, uh, very clearly, uh, there is no breathing, uh, stoppage, of, there is no pulse, uh, absolutely, uh, no, even the carotid pulse is not there. Uh, it's completely uh, uh, dead, at least for our observation, like uh, uh, five minutes or four minutes we have seen. There is no point in doing a CPR for such an individual. But important point I want to uh, tell is uh, probably uh, better to have a positive attitude to do a good CPR uh, uh, so that I think we can make uh, a life better and we can save many lives for our uh, uh, fellow colleagues. Right. Uh, Dr. Kadam, are there any precautions people with heart diseases should take to prevent having an episode of a sudden cardiac arrest? 
the most important is the, they should be regular with their medicines if a patient who uh, undergone for any heart surgery or angioplasty or any other surgery he should take the blood thinners uh, according to the um, cardiologist opinion and they should not be stop on its own many times what happens these people stop the medicines blood thinners and that leads to the uh, catastrophe and then uh, things uh, get worse so this is most important thing second is uh, regular health checkup regular health checkup uh, there are some parameters that should be uh, taken into the consideration like ecg two dimensional echocardiography and stress test and some blood tests like uh, cholesterol test uh some cardiac risk marker tests uh, that should be uh, regularly uh, uh, check up so all these things uh, prevent the second episodes and first and most important thing do not uh, diagnosis on your own many patients lost their life just because they diagnose uh, uh, this chest pain could be because of acidity i i came across at least 100 uh, person who diagnosed themselves that it's acidity they uh, came to emergency and they found to have a heart attack so a heart attack pain is a classical pain it's a red flag you never experience in your life first time in the life it's a kind of severe pain uh, it's uh, it can be there uh, uh, from jaw to the uh, upper abdomen in the right shoulder or left shoulder on the front side or back so it's not that it's a left hand pain or left sided chest pain is a heart attack pain heart attack pain can be uh, anywhere in this area second thing is the uneasiness third is the sweating episode all this together need a emergency or urgent uh, medical help a uh, medical check up so uh, be regular on the medicines uh, health check ups and uh, follow the instruction of your cardiologist that will prevent the further events right uh, dr khurana the lack of cpr awareness is a big health challenge in india please tell our viewers why it's essential for people to learn cpr uh so actually a lot of data is there and lot of studies have shown that most of the cardiac arrests occur out of the hospital and uh, in india only more than 7 lakh patients every year die of cardiac arrest and uh, it is the initial few minutes of this cardiac arrest where the there is some time there is some time when we artificially pump the heart by the cpr it gives uh, blood to our vital organs like brain kidneys and uh, liver and lungs so basically we are per- perfusing these organs artificially by performing a cpr and if we do that in the initial 3 4 or uh, 2 3 minutes and as early as possible we can definitely make a lot of difference uh, uh, rather uh, we can save almost half of these lives if the cpr is done on time and properly that is a high quality cpr Uh, but unfortunately in our country the awareness is uh, very less for this cpr people do, don't even know uh, what's the na- what's the full form of cpr it's cardiopulmonary resuscitation uh, the problem is it is not uh, being taught in the schools uh, as dr kadam said it should be inculcated in our regular curriculum uh, every child should know from the beginning how to perform cpr and if uh, there is some uh, patient uh, in your family who has a heart disease uh you should uh, be aware of performing a cpr it is a very simple process and lot of videos are present on the youtube there is a video by american heart association there is a lot of uh, material on internet where you can easily learn how to perform this cpr and uh, we can actually make a lot of difference uh, by doing a, giving a high quality cpr at a uh, time when it's actually required right uh, dr reddy what are the treatment options available for sudden cardiac arrest sudden cardiac arrest basically is secondary to many many diseases so uh, sudden cardiac arrest is not a, a disease it is an event uh, it it is happening most of the times is uh, secondary to heart attack but not necessary to be only heart attack heart attack is one of the reasons or without heart attack people can have sudden cardiac arrest because of various problems so treatment option is basically 
determined by the cause of the uh, sudden cardiac arrest. So once an individual is found to have some disease and probably a potential candidate for the uh, sudden cardiac arrest, uh, those uh, cause should be treated like there is a, uh, a valve stenosis, like an aortic valve. So when there is a valve stenosis, probably better to treat the valve stenosis uh, rather than uh, uh, treating the sudden cardiac arrest. Sudden cardiac arrest uh, is an event, event. So therefore, if there is a heart attack, probably heart attack has to be treated by mobilizing the patient uh, after doing a CPR or uh, if required, or a first aid, mobilize the patient to the nearby uh, ICU or a cardiac center where the facilities are there. Uh, probably the heart attack can be managed either sometimes with a medicine, sometimes with a immediate uh, uh, shifting the patient to the cath lab or doing an intervention, like a, a, probably after that, doing a, a diagnostic angiography. Uh, sometimes we may choose to uh, go for a immediate intervention or even immediate uh, angioplasty or probably we can do even an emergency CABG also, a bypass operation. So there are various options even for the uh, so-called uh, heart attack. But if it is not caused by the heart attack, the options will be uh, definitely many, like a valve replacement is sometimes, or probably a treating an arrhythmia. There are some dangerous arrhythmias, uh, primarily without any structural uh, heart disease, the primary arrhythmias also can take somebody's uh, life and produce sudden cardiac arrest. Therefore, uh, the cause treatment or the uh, treatment of the cause is most important. All right. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time and we'll have to leave it at that. Thank you very much, doctors, for joining us.